This is a low power view of a section of a breast tumor. So if you just follow my cursor here, you can see this irregular infiltrative blue areas here. And also here, this is the malignant tumor. Then we've got these um, pinkish fibrous areas in which there's some benign breast parenchyma. And then also these very, very pale areas, which is just essentially fatty stroma. So let's go one by one. So in the fatty stroma, we just see very mature fat cells. And looking into these uh, pinkish areas here, um, here we can see lobules of breast parenchyma. And as you know, the breast is composed of ducts and lobules. There is one ductal profile there. So when we look at the lobule, they are usually made up of uh, small, uh, rounded, glandular formations. And classically, the benign uh, lobule has got two layers. There is an outer myoepithelial layer you can see here, one row of outer nuclei, and then one inner row of nuclei. This, these are the luminal cells, and then of course, that's the lumen. So this bilayered appearance is uh, indicative of benign breast parenchyma, and you can see this nice lobular architecture, small uh, rounded um, lobule profiles of tubules. Now let's uh, move on. We move over to this area, approaching the blue area now. You can see where we are on the smaller map. And um, first thing that we see on low power is that it's very infiltrative. There's no nice encapsulated or, or circumscribed margin. All these little infiltrative blue areas coming out into the fatty stroma, coming into the fibrous stroma. And when we look at it more carefully, we can see that these um, bluish areas are actually all very irregular, angulated glands. How I know they're glands, they still have central lumina here. But can you, you can look at this picture, it's almost like a comma-shaped gland here. And uh, they're very irregular, they're not nice and round like we saw in the lobules. And furthermore, they are infiltrating into the fibrous stroma as well as into the fatty stroma. So this is invasive growth. Now I'm going to compare side by side the benign uh, lobule and the malignant invasive breast gland. Alright, so here we can see side by side. On the left, this is the normal lobule that I showed you earlier. Very nice rounded uh, gland formations. And here on the right side, at the same magnification, you can see these very irregular glands. Sometimes you can't even recognize them as glands. They almost look like just little nests of cells. So this is how irregular it looks, and this is one feature of malignancy. There is still some resemblance to the original benign tumor, uh, sorry, benign tissue, but um, there is a lot of uh, irregularity and it looks a little bit distorted. Now, when we look at high power, let's compare them both high power, and we see that again the same magnification. The nuclei are still relatively rounded, very uniformed and small. Here we can see that the nuclei are a lot bigger compared to the nuclei on the left. And you can also appreciate um, nucleoli here. I'm pointing to the nucleolus here, another one here within the nucleus. And also the fact that the nuclei are quite pleomorphic. So you've got a large nucleus here, you've got a slightly smaller nucleus here, you've got a smaller one here. Um, and there is quite a bit vari of variation here. You've got a smaller nucleus here and a large one that's about twice the size or more than twice the size of that. So this is nuclear pleomorphism. There's variation in size and shape. And not only that, you can appreciate that the nuclear membranes are somewhat irregular as opposed to these very nice rounded nuclear membranes. And if we're going to look around, we will probably see some mitotic figures. Okay, There is probably a mitotic figure here. Um, unfortunately, this um, resolution is not so high at high power. There's another mitotic figure there. I don't have to look too far to be able to see um, mitotic figures, and that is just an indica indication of uh, very rapid growth. Okay, So we've got frequent mitotic figures. There's another one here. And you hardly see any here in the benign uh, breast. We've got nuclear enlargement. We've also got raised NC ratios, increased NC ratios, nuclear cytoplasmic ratios. We have nuclear pleomorphism, prominent nucleoli. And then if you go back to low power, we have these very irregular, poorly formed glands. And also remember that we've got this infiltrative growth pattern where the glands just invade into the surrounding stroma. So all these features added up together point to a malignant breast tumor. And because it is gland forming, it is an adenocarcinoma. 
So the name of this tumor, this specific tumor we call, is an invasive ductal carcinoma. But it is a type of adenocarcinoma or gland-forming malignancy.